If you have a website for your SaaS, a blog or business, then adding a cookie consent banner to your website is an absolute must have in order to stay compliant with a lot of these laws like GDPR, CCPA, etc. And a lot of people think adding these consent banners to their website is a tedious process, takes a lot of time and needs technical knowledge. Well, it's not true. Today in this video, I'll show you how you can easily add cookie consent banners to your website in less than 5 to 10 minutes using user centric cookie board. And trust me, it's way easier than you think and you don't need any technical knowledge or you don't need to touch any line of code. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is user centric cookie board and this is the CMP or the consent management platform that we will use today to incorporate cookie consent banners into our website in less than five minutes. And this platform is pretty simple to install and use and it automatically tracks, classifies and block cookies and automatically updates when regulations change. So the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to cookiebot.com, which is their official website. And this right here is the official website of user centric cookie board. And as you can see, this platform is being used by more than 2.3 million apps and websites and serves over 7 billion consent requests every month. So this is a platform that is widely used in the industry and trusted by a lot of people. So first thing first, head over to the link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. So here we are in the sign up page and you have a couple of options to create an account. You can either continue with Google or Microsoft or enter your custom email address and click continue. So in this case, I'll continue with Google and there you go. I'm now logged in and there itself I can find a cookie consent banner. And for now, I'll click on accept all. And after you create an account, you'll be taken to this onboarding flow where the platform will ask you a couple of these questions and you can go ahead and fill them or skip if needed. So for now, I'll click on the skip button. And next up, it is asking us to enter all these details of our business. So first of all, it is asking us the account information and it is asking us to enter the account name. Okay, so in this case, I'll go ahead and put my name since I'm trying to incorporate or let's say add consent banners into my website. So in your case, you got to go ahead and enter your company name and all other details select a country so in this case i'll select it as india and next up you need to enter your website domain name so in this case i'll go ahead and enter astrokjoseph.com so this is my website so all you gotta do is to copy the domain name or let's say the website name and just go ahead and put it in here and next up you need to select the legal framework for your consent banner so here we have a bunch of these options like almost all options for example here we have gdpr tcf 2.2 ccpa crpa cpa i mean you have a lot of them so in this case i'll go ahead and enable this option so you can go ahead and select according to your requirement for now i'll keep it as gdpr europe that is general data protection regulations so i can select the same and now i'll click on next all right so now it's time for you to customize the consent banner exactly like the way you want it to appear on your website. And now the interesting thing about user centric cookie board is the fact that it allows you to customize the consent banner exactly like the way you want to for let's say to match the color and let's say the color theme of your website. For example, if your website has let's say a specific primary color, secondary color and all that, you can actually customize the banner to match the color and you also have a lot of these options as to the placement, the animation, what are the content that should appear in the cookie consent form and all other details, okay? So first thing first, we'll move to the layout tab right here and the first thing that you're going to do is to select where you want the dialog or let's say the consent banner to appear. So here you have two options that is dialog and bar and I like to keep it as bar. So in your case, you can totally go ahead and select exactly what you like. And now the second layer, I'll keep it as let's say center. So that looks good. And now I can click on save and next. And now it is asking me if I want to invite people to collaborate for now, I'll click on, I'll do it later. And here you have the code that you can use to instantly implement and add the consent banner to your website. For now, I'll click on this finish button and continue with the customization part first. And now our initial configuration process is done. So we can go ahead and continue customizing the same. And for that, all you got to do is to click on this button that says appearance. And if you click on that one, you'll be able to customize all the aspects of the consent banner, like where it should appear, what animation should be shown, what are the contents to be included, how the buttons should be made visible, what the color combination should be used. I mean, you can literally control all of that right from this appearance tab right here. So first and foremost, I'll keep it as a bar. And if you want to, you can adjust all these settings like display categories, hide language switch, show deny all button. So whether you want to show the deny all button or not, more information link and all that. And okay, this looks good. And now if you want to, you can also go ahead and add a privacy trigger and I'll prefer you to keep it as default, like the one that is into the bottom left of the screen. And that looks good. And now if I move over to the styling tab right here, 
This is where you can customize the consent banner to match the color of your website. For example, let's say your website has a primary color of let's say green and all that. So you can go ahead and select that in the tab color or link color. You can just select this one and customize it like the way you want to. Okay. And not just that, you can go ahead and adjust the corner radius, the background shadow, background overlay. And if you want to, you can go ahead and add a custom logo, link to the logo and alt tag and all that. And you can select a specific font you want to use. For example, let's say you use the Poppins font on your website. You can go ahead and customize it in here. Add colors for these buttons, toggles, custom CSS, privacy button. So if you want to, let's say, change the privacy button, you can go ahead and select it from here. And obviously, you can also change the background color. For now, all of this looks good to me. So I'll go ahead and click on this publish button to make all these changes live. So I can click on publish and that should be it. So once you add the, let's say, the consent banner to your website, if you go ahead and make any subsequent changes, it will be automatically applied and you don't have to do anything else. And now that the consent banner customizations are done, I'll move over to the content tab right here. And this is where you can go ahead and customize all the content that appears inside of the consent banner. For example, you can go ahead and adjust the title, the banner message, and you can go ahead and edit it. So whatever be that content that you want to include in the consent banner, you have the option to edit the message, the title, the links and all that. And if I click on this tab right here, that is second layer, you can add additional title and description that should appear in the second layer. And also all these labels like accept all, you know, deny, save settings, more information categories. So if you want to edit those labels, you can click on this edit button right here and make the required changes and click on the save draft option. But for now, this all looks good to me. And next up, if I move over to the configuration settings right here, you can go ahead and give all this information, select the domain, select the language. For now, English looks good and you can go ahead and click on legal specifications and you can go ahead and configure all these settings as to where all these consent banners should be made visible. So in this case here we have GDPR and it is currently set to display CMP to all users or if you want to customize and only show it to let's say EU and EEA users you can go ahead and select this option but for now I'll click on this option right here so to display the same to all users and then you have a couple of these options in here DPS information looks good and now if I move over to the CMP settings, you can go ahead and configure cross domain consent sharing option. If you, if that's applicable in your case, you can go ahead and enable the same. And now after all of this is done, that is editing the actual content, customizing the consent banner to look exactly like the way you want to. The next important step is obviously adding the same to your website and it's pretty simple. And trust me, it's way easier than you think it is. And for that, all you gotta do is to click on this implementation button right here. And here you have a couple of these options like script tag, embeddings, data layer and events, A-B testing and all that. So if I click on the script tag right here and if I scroll down, I should be able to find this code. Okay. And now adding the same to your website is pretty simple. All you got to do is to copy this code from here. And now all you got to do is to paste the same before the closing head tag of your website and publish all the changes and you should be pretty much good to go. And today in this video, I'll show you how you can add this consent banner to a WordPress based website in just a couple of clicks. I mean, you don't even have to copy this code from here. Okay. Everything can be done using a WordPress plugin. So here I have opened up my WordPress website and the next thing that you got to do is to log into the dashboard. So I'll head over to dashboard. And next up, if I go ahead and click on this plugins option and click on add plugin, I'll be able to add the user centric cookie board plugin directly to my WordPress website. And the cool thing is that they have a WordPress plugin that you can directly add. So all you got to do is to go ahead and search for cookie board. And now I can hit enter. And all you need to do is to install the first one that says cookie banner and privacy compliance for GDPR, CCCA, Google concern mode that is user centric cookie board. So I'll go ahead and click on this install now button. And as you can see, more than 100,000 plus WordPress websites currently use this plugin right here. And now I'll click on this activate option right here. And now as you can see, the plugin is installed and you will find an option that says cookie board. So I can click on that one. And next up, I'll go ahead and click on this connect account option right here. It says already have a cookie board or user centric account. So you can click on this button right here and wait for it. And next up, all you need to do is to connect your account and connecting is pretty simple. You need to copy the ID of your account or domain group ID and then paste it in here and click on the connect account. And to grab the settings ID, I'll head back. And this time around, I'll move over to the implementation tab right here. And if you look at this code right here, you can find something called a settings ID is equal to, and here we have the actual settings ID code. So all you gotta do is to copy the same and I'll head back to my WordPress website, paste the same in here and wait for it to load. And next up, okay, all of that looks good. And I can click on this connect account button right here. 
all right so there you go it says the connection is successful and i have connected my wordpress website to use user centric cookie boot service or the consent banner and everything is pretty much working and now if i scroll down i'll find an option that says cookie blocking so here you have two options the first one is automatic and the second is manual so as you can see you can select automatic to automatically block all cookies except those are strictly necessary to use before the user give consent and you also have a manual option or a manual mode which lets you adjust your cookie settings within your website's html so automatic is the recommended one and that is the one that is being selected as default so i'll recommend you to leave it as automatic and if you want to enable this tcf integration that is iaf tcf integration you can enable it in here and if i move over to the additional settings option right here here i have enabled both automatic updates and also obviously we want to show the consent banner on our website so i'll keep this option enabled and to make sure that the plugin that we installed on our wordpress website automatically gets updated to the newer version i'll go ahead and enable this option and next up if you use google tag manager you can go ahead and configure all the settings in here by copying the id and pasting the same in here and then we have google consent mode and again it is enabled by default and you also have the option to sync the privacy policy as well and now all of that looks good and if i head over to dashboard everything should be working so it says congratulations you have added your domain group id to wordpress and pretty much everything is sorted and now whatever be the changes that you make in here will be automatically updated to your website and if i go ahead and visit my wordpress website now i should see the cookie consent banner and there you go here we have the title that we specified in the platform right here in the content section right here so it says privacy settings and as you can see it says privacy settings the site uses third party website tracking technologies and all that and here we have all these options like marketing functional essential and all that so if the user wants to they can either enable or disable the same and you have a couple of these options like save settings deny accept all and you also have this more information section again the second layer so here we have a detailed view of all these details like all the technologies used by the advertisers then we have functional and essential as well and again you can go ahead and individually turn it off or enable it and you also have the services tab and you can go ahead and configure it in here as well and now i can click on accept all and that should be it so that is pretty much it now cookie consent banner we have configured it so the user comes ahead and visit the website for the first time and they'll see that banner and they can select the option convenient to them or which they feel is the right one for them and once that's it that's done okay and next up we have actually added this option right here okay so after a user gives the consent if they feel like they want to update it or let's say revoke the consent or do anything as such they will find an option like this so you can obviously go ahead and change the color the icon and all that and if they click on that one it will again open the consent banner and again if they want to they can go ahead and make all these changes accept it save changes or deny the changes as well so this is pretty simple right so this is how simple it is to go ahead and add a cookie consent banner to your wordpress based website so as user centric have a wordpress plugin all you got to do is to go ahead and install the plugin copy paste the id and hit the save changes button and you're pretty much sorted and even if that's not the case and you use a custom technology for your website it's okay you can go ahead and integrate it via let's say google tag manager or copy the code provided and paste it right before the head tag and you should be pretty much sorted and again if you have multiple companies and you want to add another company you can come over to your company section right here click on this add company option and add all these details and set up a new consent banner and add the same as well so this is how simple it is so with a couple of clicks in less than 10 minutes we have added a full fledged cookie consent banner to our website using the cmp platform that is user centric cookie board so it is as easy as that so all you got to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to cookieboard.com sign up for a new account add your domain and you can configure how you want your cookie consent banner to appear and you can copy the code and paste it in your website or install the wordpress plugin and you should be pretty much sorted so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one